The woodman's eyes had been opened before, but now has opened his heart. From out that place of knowing where is no sediment of stagnation, no darkness of reservation, no blindness of equivocation, came forth the honest sounds spoken only from the pinnacle of the mountain. It is true. It is true. I am the king. I am. <laughs> the very the very words I whispered as tinkling cymbals from the slopes, the same sounds I prattled in pious self-righteousness from the plateaus and droned as far-off dreams along the pathways of desire, ah, but spoken finally from the mountain that childlikeness is. It is so. I am the king. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now it is the eye that seeth thee. O oh, mine being me, this is my kingdom. My kingdom is me. My very self I see. All perfect infinity. Why? I have never seen a sight nor heard a sound but my own. Yea, the people and things I see are not separate nor apart from me. They appear dimly as an impostor's judgment of the king's infinity. The plateaus and paths below were my woodcutter interpretation of me. The woodcutter's role is but the shadow of me. Oh, at last, at last I see the entire universe has its existence as this awareness I be. Truly, it has been the Father's pleasure to give the kingdom to me. How foolish I've been writhing in the role of a woodcutter unaware of identity. I viewed the very self I am and judged it. Then I named it, bought it, sold it, fought it, struggled to secure it, bowed down before it and chopped it with an ax, <laughs> measured it, weighed it, entombed it in time, gave it the life and authority that all the time were mine. The borrowed axe was borrowed from myself. The acres leased were rented from myself. The wood was cut from me alone. Every tree in the forest is mine, and every forest in the land is thine one awareness, being all I am. Now, I look across the valley and see a tree. <laughs> it's me, because where do I see it? But in the awareness I be. And how? Seeing is being me. The tree is an attribute of loveliness. Deity knows itself to be. <laughs> Yea, God awareness is my activity. Faithful witness of harmony. Honest witness of simplicity. Eternal action of deity. Indeed, this now awareness is identity. The impostor's judgment had been the impostor's agony. Woodman, reigning new king, lifts his scepter to speak. 
I have sought truth all my life, but lo, that that I seek, I am. No exterior law roots me evermore to an effete clay. No season binds me anymore to await the day when worms deprive me of living beauty. I am the king. I am the law of my holy kingdom. As I decree, so it shall be. Exterior law is annulled. No law exists but God me. Outside is inside. Inside, outside. Above and below the same. Having been lifted up, I see my image is lifted likewise and drawn to me, understood as I understand God's self to be. The millennium begins <laughs> as I understand and acknowledge the perfection already round about. From this time forth, dear Father being me, I will reign with justice and dignity. I will speak to myself as the one authority. I will command without congresses or councils, without ministers, magistrates, or armies, to see the world's tribulation cease, I live the child's transcendent peace. It is the counsel of all rightness I listen to. The finished kingdom I see revealing heaven right here to this awareness being me. Millennium now is my final decree. Epilogue. The story has been told now, listener, yet only one has listened. The picture has been painted, but one alone has seen it. The one who plays the symphony understands its harmony. The one who listens to its melody is the softness of the sound. Indeed, the one who reads this is the one who has written it. For deity, its self-awareness, and all it perceives are one perfect identity. This is your melody, dear woodcutter, who is king. Reign with child likeness. <laughs> Lift up your heart and sing. 